Hi, welcome to Try This, the show all about product reviews. Today on Try This, we will be reviewing the Atomic Lighter. The Atomic Lighter claims to have no fuel, no filament, and no flame. It's also got dual arc technology and is made of a tough grade metal alloy. Now, this company, Bulb Head, right up there in the corner, if you can see it, they claim all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, super crazy stuff. Like, they put it in water in their infomercial, and it still works. They freeze it in a block of ice, and it still works. They even run it over with a car, and it still works. So, today, we are going to be trying it out and seeing if it really can stand up to those claims that they make in the infomercial. I don't know about the water thing. I don't know how I feel about putting batteries and electricity in water and it's still working and whatnot. They claim that it's actually uh, lights your candles with plasma. Just watch how quickly this incredible new plasma technology creates fire. That shit sounds even worse. I, I don't know about that. Anyways, so what comes in the box, and I did charge this prior to the video, so that would be why it has been opened. But, oof. so in the box, you get this, I guess, advertisement for some diamond thing. Uh, it's weird. And then you get this little brochure about the atomic lighter. Tells you it has an on-off switch, so that way you don't accidentally go pressing the button, lighting your house on fire like a dum-dum. It has an easy open latch, charge indicator. They also claim you can use it out in a thunderstorm, that it will not blow out, even in the wind. Even if it gets wet, it lights. It charges via USB. And it's rechargeable by USB, so it's always good to go. So in the box, you get... They did not make this packaging frustration free. Shame, shame, bald head, shame. I'm gonna go try and slice in our fingers open here. We don't have to go to the hospital. Man. Whoa. So, we have the atomic lighter. And charge fully before the first use, which I already did. Blah, blah, press power button. Okay, so that is the atomic lighter. And you get one USB cable, micro USB. It's very, very short. I don't know why they make it so short. It's like, so, it's like a little tiny baby one. It's so short, I don't know. Anyways, did not come with a USB power brick that you can plug it into a computer or your phone, you know, USB charger, whatever, it'll get it charged. So, for our first test here, we are going to light a few things and see exactly how easy it is. You can see if I flip it open, and if I flip it open and then I push the button, you get that plasma. I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, but that little arc of plasma in between, and that is what is going to light stuff. I don't know why after a certain like time, after a certain time period, it like shuts off of holding the button. I guess it's like some kind of a safety switch or safety feature, but um, here, maybe you can see it better. Okay, for our first test, we are going to light a tea light. Now, they claim that it's faster than actually using a real lighter. I don't know about that, but we're gonna find out. Nope, still nothing. Oh, there we go. I don't really think it's faster than using an actual real lighter because you get that flame and it's a really big flame and you know, it just lights things a lot quicker, I think. But you know, it did light it. Continuing on after that momentary, momentary of interruption. Anyways, so I light, 
I was able to light the tea light, no problems. Didn't seem, you know, really fast or, oh, and of course, they have to have their little bulb head logo on everything now. I mean, why can't you just give us those little stickers that you used to give us in the boxes? Now you gotta go putting your logo on everything. Freaking bulb head way over the top. Too much. Just too much. But there it is. Anyways, the bulb head logo. Ooh, I'm gonna blow this thing out before I light my damn self on fire. So, that was the tea light. Now I'm going to try lighting something else that you might use or this lighter for, and that would be birthday cake. You know, you might be having a party and you need to light some birthday candles. Let's see how that goes. So yes, it did light. I was able to light the birthday candle, no problem. No surprise there. Easy to stick it in the little, you know, plasma arc thing and get it going. The one candle that I figured I would probably have trouble lighting. A lot of people have these in their homes. They buy them, they're nice, they're scented, make your house smell wonderful. Problem with this is more than likely gonna be that you have this little lid thing. I don't know if it's gonna work. So let's find out. See, yeah, you see the problem is, is this lid does not allow you to put the lighter down into smaller places and really get in there to light the I mean I was able to light it not easily though not at all tip to bulb head this this little door on here needs to either come off or flip back further somehow so I can get it you know really get it down in there but I did was successful in lighting this large candle now, Bulb Head does claim in their infomercial to dunk it in water and it will still work afterwards. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. Holy crap, this could go one of two ways. Either super awesome and the lighter still works or there could be a whole lot of explosions. I don't know, here we go. You guys, I'm so nervous, oh my gosh. Lighter, plasma, and water. Three, two, one, go! Woo! And I'm just gonna wipe it off here. Make sure everything's dry. There's no water inside of the ports. Move that water out of the way. look like there's any kind of water inside of it. <sighs> nope. All right, now for the test. Will the atomic lighter work after dunking it in a bowl of water? <gasps> you guys, it works! Oh my gosh, it still works! That's ridiculous. Something totally electronic, totally not really supposed to be put in water, and it still works. I can't believe it still works. Look. Oh my gosh, the plasma arcs are still there. The whole thing, it works. That's ridiculous. And you guys, something else. I didn't die, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh, super exciting. Bulb head claims you can stick it in the water, freeze it in a block of ice, break it apart, and it'll still work. That shit sounds real crazy because it's going to be submerged underwater for quite some time. But I don't know. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, wait, no. Wait. Three, two, one. All right, guys. So into the freezer it goes. Try not to spill it all over everywhere like a dum dum. Try and find somewhere that's kind of flat. Oh, I'll stick it in the ice cube ice cube tray. Okay, so into the freezer it goes. I have also turned it off just for safety precautions. And we will come back later after it's frozen and show you whether it works or not. So I have placed the atomic lighter in the freezer for two hours. Now we're gonna check on it and see if it's frozen.
Yep, looks totally frozen. Let's see if we can take it back over here to the sink. Yep, that is one block of ice. Let's see if I can get it out. Uh, I don't think that's going to come out very easily. So we're going to see if this thing actually still works. Whoa. It's really solid. It's really frozen in there. Let's see if I can... Whoa! It just blew apart. Holy crap. Ooh, wow, that's cold. Holy crap. See, it's got all these ice chunks all over it. Seems to be, like, physically okay. Like, I don't see anything that's broken on it. But we're going to take it back over to the table and see if this thing still turns on and lights. Okay, you guys. So after being in the freezer for two hours... And see, there's still a little bit of ice on here. Let's see if I can get it off. Well, maybe. Still got some. Looks like that got kind of frozen. Whoa! There's like ice chunks inside the actual lighter itself. Let's see if I can get those off. I'm trying not to damage the thing. I don't know if this is gonna... We need to, here, USB cable. Let's see, nope. It's not coming, oh, there. Oh, we got it off, guys, oh yeah. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see if I can dry it off. Maybe get a little better. I want to turn this on with water inside of it. Alrighty. So you can see there's no physical damage to the device. Everything looks to be okay. So far, so good. Now to test and see if the atomic lighter will actually turn on and light a candle. Three, two, one, go. You guys, it still works. We froze it in the freezer and it still works. It still turns on. That's even more insane than I thought. I did not expect that to work at all. Not at all. Now let's see, can we light the tea light still? Wait, hang on. Gotta get this stupid little lid that's in the way. Gotta try and... No, see you guys? Screw that tea light thing. It... The little lid thing, that's... They need to really rework that because that lid gets in the way way too much. So we're gonna try the birthday candle instead. So, you guys, it still lights. Look, it still lights. It still lights the candle. Wow, that's just amazing. So, Bulbhead makes some crazy claims. One of those claims is that you can even use this in wind, even a thunderstorm. Now, we've tested it in water, so we know it'll work in the water, but will it work with wind? They claim it will not blow out when it's windy. Like, you cannot blow it out. I don't know. So, got me a fan, and I've also got my trusty mouth blower. <laughs> you guys, that just... <laughs> 
my mouth blower. <laughs> mouth, mouth wind, mouth wind maker. I don't know you guys. Anyway, so we're gonna use this fan and then I will also try and blow it out using my mouth. So, I'm gonna put this on high. Whoa, so, so the results of that, you can actually see that the little plasma arc, like, 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 you know, here, here, I'll show you a close up. Like there it's normal. And then you can see it's like, you can see it gets like really distorted and it sounds weird. Also, if I try and blow on it, you can see what it does. But I, I cannot blow it out. There's no way that this is, there's no way this is blowing out. Like, I, I don't know. This thing's actually really awesome. So, the final verdict on the atomic lighter, I love the plasma technology. Works wonderful. It lights stuff. I did test out how long it would last, and it does hold up to its claims. I believe they said like a hundred lights or a thousand lights. Anyways, it'll, it'll be in the video. Um, and it, it does, it lasts a long time before you need to recharge it. Things I, I do love, they have the on off switch, which is wonderful because that way you don't be a dumb dumb and burn your house down like an idiot. The things that I don't like, I don't like this little lid. It gets in the way of when you're trying to light a lot of things. In fact, I feel like I need to light something that fits in here and then use that to light your candle or your whatever you're trying to light, which that's not very useful. Um, just redesign this lid cover and it would work perfectly. I love the size. It's very portable. You take it with you. Um, they do make a, um, I'm not sure if it's bulb head specifically that makes it, but there is a wand style version that would be better for lighting candles and, you know, barbecues and that kind of thing. So my final verdict on this is for, I believe they said it was, I believe I bought this at $19. And at $19, I don't know that I'd pay that much for it. I mean, with all the flaws that this atomic lighter has, it's not really worth the price. If you knock that thing down to maybe like 10 bucks, sure. I guess if you used it for smoking all the time, which I really don't recommend, because you know we all don't want every, our viewers dying out there. But um, if you used it for that, it would work. But if you're trying to use this as an everyday light anything and everything, it's not really gonna work. So I wanna thank everyone for watching my video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Hit the bell icon at the bottom, ding, 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 down below to be notified of upcoming videos. And if you wouldn't, please subscribe. That'll help us out a whole lot as we're trying to get to as many viewers as we can and as many subscribers. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.